Hey Virgos, welcome to June 2018. I really didn't want the baby on camera, uh, but she is not letting me put her down. So this is Phoenix. <laughs> uh, she has her son in the 12th house, so she's already very private, but I'm hoping that her energy helps us with the reading. Um, but I should tell you that these readings are going to be quite short, okay? Right to the point. Speaking of which, I hope you guys had an amazing May. I hope you guys enjoyed that May 29th full moon in Sagittarius, which was really intense. It was all about our belief systems and really figuring out why we believe the things that we do believe and kind of stemming back to, you know, when you think about a baby, she came in with absolutely no beliefs. It's not until I say, okay, her name is Phoenix. She's Canadian. She, you know, this is her religion or this is her, uh, her, her spirituality. This is her gender. You know, it's really not until um, society puts these beliefs on us that we start to have to live up to these labels, right? So this full moon in Sagittarius was saying, hey, at the end of the day, you were born with a clean slate and it wasn't until all of this crap was put on us saying this is how you have to be. And this full moon really said, you know, why do I feel the way that I feel? Why do I have to live this life the way that I've been living it and really getting clear about that. So it really kind of restarted our belief system as well. It really sort of made us realize, oh, okay, it was because of this situation that I believe that, or it's because of my mom that I believe this and really realizing that it's time to move on from that. Okay. Moving on with your thoughts, moving on, like it's your responsibility. So the theme for your reading for June 2018, Virgo, is all about moving on, is also realizing like your beliefs are the reason why you stayed for so long. And like I said, that full moon made us realize, okay, the only reason why I believed that I had to stay was because of this. At the end of the day, I don't have to stay. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on for Virgos for June 2018. So another part of the theme of this reading is your reputation. So although you are thinking that you want to move on from something, your reputation, of course, is going to be on the line because with every ending, you know, people are going to be saying, well, why? Well, well, what's this? Well, what's that? So your reputation is definitely on the line. But at the end of the day, Virgo, it's really only how you're viewing yourself because it's incredibly internalized. It's a seven energy, which is all about hidden knowledge within ourselves and taking that time out in solitude to recognize where we're faltering, where we're happy, where we're not happy, and where we need to make amendments and changes in our lives to include that happiness. And really, it's all about turning that mirror on our hearts and saying, okay, where is my heart truly in this? Oops. So, theme is moving on from something. You've already moved on in your mind. It's almost getting to a point now where you have to physically move on. Moving on from something, but recognizing your reputation is on the line. And also this, this image that you have of yourself, this image would have to end. And this image of someone who's financially secure, who has it all together, who took their time, who created something that they needed to create, and who was really kind of like a fireball of energy where it was kind of, you know, torching anything in your path that was, that was not uh, conducive to this energy of uh, financial and emotional fulfillment. So that's something that your reputation is saying, okay, you can't be that person anymore. If you're going to move on, that person has to change. And you have a ton of support from your family and friends when it comes to changing because they admire who you are no matter what. They admire who you are and they're like, yeah, you're a fireball of energy, but they know that something has been missing within your home and family and your emotions. They're like, okay, you can't just always be this person, Virgo. Your thoughts are really the only thing that's stopping you from changing and your fear and worry of financial uh, stability because it is time to bring in some new energy and to completely empower yourself through our transformative energy through home and family and you're going to be a lot happier for it but it's just getting a hold of your thoughts when it comes to this oops when it comes to feeling like you have to hold on to your power okay so this could be work related 
It could be financial related, it could be money related, it could be related to the home and family. But at the end of the day, it is all about boarding. It's all about saying, I'm not going to let go. But emotionally, mentally, you've already moved on. So it's only a matter of time before um, the energy of the universe catches up with your thoughts. So I would start just saying goodbye to some things, people, places, or things. You've been losing some sleep over some stuff, Virgo, and you want that to end. There's been some internal conflict, some inner conflict going on. You're just not comfortable. It's like, um, it's like there's something weighing on you heavily. It's like this nagging thing in your back. And that thing in your back, a back, your back represents your support system. So that's why you're not really feeling very comfortable because you're not, you're not supported right now. And it's not fair. Okay. Obstacle in aid is recognition that you realize that within a relationship. You know, you've, you've done the inner work and you're like, okay, I get it now. I get it now. But that's an obstacle and an aid to this sleepless nights, to this worry, to this pain, to this uncomfortability. Okay. Obstacle and an aid. Subconsciously feeling really powerless. Virgo, what's going on? Virgo. Yeah, feeling really powerless. Thinking that you want to start something new. New energy. New positive energy. But it's like, where is it going to come from? Because if you notice with this card, this new energy is coming from a, a dark cloud. So it's really hard to see um, how this new energy could come to be when it just feels like there's been a darkness surrounding you for so long. It's like, how could something good come out of what's been going on? But a lot of the times that's how it works. You know, you can't get that rainbow without a little rain. So sometimes you need these dark times in order to really truly transform yourself and say, I need to get out of this. Okay. Yeah, you're here. You're here. This is how people are viewing you. This is how you've been viewed for a very long time. This is such Virgo energy where it's that guardian, where it's, it's the financial guardian. It's that feminine energy that says financially, I take care of everybody power wise. I take care of everybody, but emotionally, where am I, <laughs> you know, depending on what other aspects you have in your chart. I know that for my husband, he's got a lot of Virgo and yeah, emotionally, he's just simply not there. But financially, he takes care of everything. You know, that's kind of his MO. That's his, his main objective. But sometimes uh, we need emotional output in order to feel satisfied. Family and friends are moving on from something with their power. They recognize that you're moving on as well. If you need help with moving on, it's time to reach out to family and kind of give up a little sense of your power when it comes to um, asking for help. Because Virgos don't really like to ask for help. They're the ones giving all the help. <laughs> Hope and fear is an overburden of responsibilities. You hope for it, but you fear it. What's going on with that? Why would you hope for all these responsibilities? Does it make you feel useful? Virgos are all about, like my, my moon and Virgo father-in-law, his the most offensive thing I've ever heard him say was calling his son useless. So I was just like, oh, that is the meanest thing ever. But it's just that moon and Virgo. They want to be useful. Virgo energy is all about being a servant and serving other people. So to say you're useless is not as offensive to a Virgo as it is to someone like a Libra like me, where I'm just like, that is the meanest thing ever. But yeah, as a, it makes sense. You hope and fear that overburden of responsibilities. You hope for it because you want to be useful, but you fear it as well because it's just so much. Okay, so this is the outcome. So the first step is recognizing that this is what you're manifesting out, Virgo. You're manifesting out new energy to come in. So be prepared for it. Once you recognize this, you're going to see this King of Pentacles energy start to come out because right now you're Queen of Pentacles. Right now you're more focused on the feminine aspect of yourself, that feminine aspect of the Virgo, the Virgin, you know, all about financial stability. It is time to make that more masculine because the feminine version of financial stability is over giving and not holding on to that power. Whereas the masculine energy of the, of the King of Pentacles, the masculine energy of the financial stability would be more focused on giving out power and giving out money, but in a way that is more empowering. So for instance, you know, 
Like when I think about asking my mom for money or asking my mom for something as a kid, as opposed to asking my dad, my mom, it would be a lot easier to get that out of her. And it's more, you know, as opposed to my dad, where I would only go to my dad and ask because I know that it's going to involve some sort of lecture. So changing that energy from the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles saying, yeah, I will still financially support you, but there's going to be a lot more stipulations. There's going to be a lot more. I'm not just going to give it freely. I'm going to give it with some sort of agenda and some sort of, you know, stipulation that says you're either going to work it off in, in some way, or there's going to be more of an equal energy exchange because as it stands right now, Virgos, you guys are giving out without receiving anything in return. And once you recognize that, it's going to create more of a balance in your life. You're going to feel a little bit more uh, stable and secure, not so pinned down, not so worried, not so frustrated, not so upset and sleepless. And, you know, um, it's just going to feel a lot better. It's going to feel a lot better. So that's all I have for you guys, Virgos. Um, as usual, feel free to email me for a personalized reading that includes astrology and numerology. I hope you guys have an amazing June, an amazing summer, and I'll see you guys in July. Bye, Virgos.